So welcome to another episode of Junkyards and Barn Finds with Sean, and I'm Sean. Good morning. It's a Sunday morning. It's really beautiful out here, and yes, I am not bald. I just have a bad haircut today. Anyway, today we're going to look at uh, how I paint my car art. And this is part two. If you saw part one, that was how to make a canvas, how to buy the materials and stuff. And today is going to show you the life of a painting. And I actually wrote a book about this called the same title, Life of a Painting, last uh, about three years ago. And all the stuff you see in this video is in that book. So we're just going to follow through on how to do car art, how to do automotive art. And we're still doing our junkyard tours. We're still doing the racetrack stuff. We're still going to be doing the other cars. In fact, I put up another uh, junkyard that we toured up in Bradenton, Florida this morning. But this is one of the series since I was a car artist down here on Sanibel Island for about 15 years. So <clears throat> this will be the second video and then the third video, which will also go up soon will feature I think probably around 50 to 75 of paintings of cars and art uh, automotive art that I've done. And I would do paintings, I always did a life of a painting book that went with any of the original paintings when they sold them in galleries and it would show whoever it was the steps I did in painting that original painting. So I hope you enjoy it. If you don't uh, and you just like the real cars and stuff I have some videos up there. This is something that I also did. It's art related, it's car related, and so if you like it, cool. And um, so let's get started. All right, so basics. You'll need brushes. You can buy them at Walmart, you can buy them at a Michaels, you can buy them at a craft store. You can buy basic ones, expensive ones. You'll need ones like fan brushes, like you see here. Just any brushes will get you started. Next thing. You can have a studio. I don't have a studio and I'm a professional artist. You can build your own frames. You can do this indoors, you can do it on your back porch, you can do it in a garage, you can do it in your living room. If you see there, it's on a box. So if you go back to the first video uh, that we did, we show you how to build this frame. So the first frame you'll see us work on has been built by us. You can use such things for primer like this. I go over all this stuff in the first video. Um, what you'll need, primer, paints, the paints here, they're like 69 cents at Walmart, some are 49 cents, get a variety, this is years worth of collecting them. They last forever, they're acrylics. I use plastic picnic plates uh, to mix my paints on, again, 25, 30 cents at the dollar store, you get four of them and you would need clear coat for the finished products just like you would a car. So the first painting that you're going to see is of an Impala convertible. It's a disabled veteran who's uh, first Impala who I had met before at car shows. His first one, he had a blue one, his first Impala convertible and it had uh, burned up by having an electrical issue. So he had just bought this one and wanted to have a painting of his new car, so I did it, it for him. As you can see, sorry it's a little out of focus, I paint the background first. You can see everything's pretty much drawn out, then I painted the trees I don't really draw, but surfboards I did. Then I drew this in pencil. I start, start by putting in all the grays because it's a white car, which is a little bit of shadows, a little bit of chrome. Then I add all the darker blacks around the tires, the grill area, the seating. White's very hard to do. Then last is colors. And there's really not a lot to this particular painting. It takes about an hour. So the next painting, this second painting that we're looking at is a painting of Margaritaville in a street scene down in Key West and I uh, just had uh, some people that wanted a painting similar to this in their house. Uh, they had a summer home or I guess a winter home in Key West and they wanted something with the street near where they were living so 
we did this one. So here, check it out. We'll walk through how I did this painting. They also, this is their 57 Chevy uh, that they wanted included in the painting. So we went ahead and did that. Start with a blank canvas. I draw with a pencil, you know, draw the picture out that I want. Sometimes I'll draw it small. Sometimes I'll just draw it on a canvas like this. As you can see, I drew the car in. You see the buildings in the background. That's more of a guide. You don't have to be very specific or detail oriented. With the car I am, because it was a specific car with the specific wheels, but um, sometimes if it's just something I'm coming up with, I may just draw circles. Then I add the base color of the car. You'll see there's two different blues there, and then whites at the top. You can see around the top of the roof or whatever, I'll do a little lighter. I add the blues, which are uh, just basic colors that uh, for the background. And then I add the shadows. Most people think shadows are gray. They're not. Most shadows are purple. So you can see darker shadows at the top. You can see shadows under the car and the doorways. Then I add the glass. Glass windows I use for buildings are always going to be a dark blue. That's pretty much my trade. One of my trademarks is windows are blue. I do the asphalt road because it's sunny down there. You'll see the reflection of the sun and the asphalt. Again, sorry about a little blurriness on here. Um, and you can see I'm starting to detail it at the top left some of the tree shadows as well and shadows underneath. Then I add the color of the building. The building is actually like a uh, purple, red, mauve color. So I add that color in there. A little bit on the sidewalk. If you notice the sidewalk's got some gray in it now. Uh, you'll notice detail on the shutters at the top of the building where I added a lighter blue, not white, lighter blue. Now I add the black details to the car. The shadows in the wheels, the shadows in the wheel wells, around the lights, the grill. You'll notice I added the trees now and started adding the, the clouds in the background uh, in the sky. And I con continue to detail. You'll see now the window frames up top both have shadows as well as they have window ledges. There's some shadows on doors and stuff. With this you'll notice I added some gray areas and I kind of mixed the gray and the black for the tires. I start doing the silver for the chrome. I start doing uh, a little bit different colors of gray around the lighting lights. You'll notice now I added white to the windows where the people are going to be sitting. Here I added the more detail with the black with a brush. Sometimes I use a sharpie, sometimes I use a brush. Adding details to the car. Um, and the trees now have green leaves on them. You'll see a little bit more detail on the trees if you notice the signs on the building they have their multicolors going and you'll notice I said trees are a little bit more detailed the sign starts getting detailed you'll see shadow there you'll see the curb now has a, a dark curb on it you'll see on the car like I said you can see that I start really detailing even more if you look at the headlights there's like four or five different colors in there you'll see the dashboards in gray um, and again I'm just adding more smaller details each time uh, I go back and forth sometimes between light colors and dark colors and here you can see I'm even adding more. I add the, uh, for the chrome around the tail of the car, around the uh, bumpers, I add the 1957. Uh, again, sorry for a little bit of blurry, this is not taken for a book at the time, it was just taken to give to the person who uh, purchased the uh, painting. And you can see there's even more detail now on the building up above, on the, on the uh, shutters for the windows and you'll see uh, a couple more details or even uh, more and more and, and if you notice below you'll see that it's just on plastic that sits in my office on the floor on the rug and I'm just using a regular card table um, here we see even more there's shadows now on the uh, newspaper box there's uh, the gray and the white there's even more shadows uh, there's now writing on the windows there's shadows in the doorways on the sidewalk and now I've added a person. If you notice, there's people now within the restaurant windows. There's a figure. I write, I do the figures in white. You also notice a signboard now. That's Buddy. That's the real Buddy dog. Uh, so you can see the size of the painting compared to a 150-pound uh, dog. Um, 
So now you see it's pretty much getting done. I put white details. I can see you can see the white in the windows on the on the top of the uh, the awning. Um, there's people. There's a chicken. There's people dressed. Uh, you can see the people inside and the lighting fixtures and stuff that kind of uh, give an idea that there's things going on in the restaurant. If you see the surfboards all the way at the back at the other building, it's a different color now. Um, so Buddy's there now, so Buddy's on there and there's a guy wearing a Hawaiian shirt. Now there's a girl going into the surf shop. There's stickers in the surf shop windows. The car is pretty much done at this point. You can see the trees are a lot more. Here's the sign for the... Um, the restaurant there that the people specifically wanted um, because that's one of their favorite restaurants it's one of mine as well and here's the detail of it you can see how sharp it is with the detail and you can see how everything there's whites and there's yellows and there's blues and the whites are reflections of the sun you can see the clouds are different colors you can see the whites in the top of the trees you can see the guy wearing a Hawaiian shirt and sunglasses there uh, typically that's me I put myself in that one um, and you can see inside it looks like it, it gives the impression there's a whole bunch of people having fun on the inside um, and the signatures on there like I said I'm just kind of you can see how big it is there's the, the above that's the back of my Chevy Blazer that I transport my paintings in uh, that's my work truck so the third one that you'll see here this is a painting of uh, the Hogs Breast Saloon, which is a famous bar uh, and gathering place. It's for bikers, hot rodders, tourists, you name it, uh, down in the Keys. And this was for a customer who had also bought some of my other artwork and they wanted their cars included, so they had a Mustang, they had the Camaro, so we put the Mustang, we put a Camaro in there, uh, put their motorcycle in this, and this was a painting we did for them. and. Uh, so let's go and I'll show you how we did it. I'm not going to really concentrate on how the cars are painted. You'll see how the cars are painted. But this is like an overall of how to do details, especially when you have a building that's got tons of stuff going on. So there are a lot of real de cool details in this one. So uh, let's get started. All right, so this is Hog's Breath Saloon in Key West. So first I'm going to start with drawings, so I go and I take some drawings of Hog's Breath, I see some things online so I can get an idea of what it looks like. Then I basically, you can see a lot of it that's done here. Like I said the cars are the Corvette, the Mustang, the motorcycle, the Camaro, and then I start just painting in people and signs. So this is a little different, we'll go through this a little differently. There's a lot of detail, the Hogs Breast Saline, the saloon sign, the trees, the motorcycles, the cars. You want to kind of give it a, an idea of the wheels of the cars and we're going to, we're going to see some different things going on here. These all had to be very specific, they took a lot more time, I didn't want to put 150 images up. So, but you can see how the ground starts to get a lot of white there because of the sand. You see how the lighting and the people will get more and more detailed, the Coca-Cola signs, the different signs that are on the walls, the dollar bills hanging the way the trees are, the Florida license plate on the car, the dual exhaust on the car, the specific wheels, the bicycle. So this is, and the, the outdoor bar there, so you'll see like the, the gentleman drinking at the outdoor bar. Keep coming back to this, you see where it says cruise in today, Key West, the motorcycle, so that's specifically the Harley that they had, and you can see all the very specific clothing, the flip-flops, the shorts, people having a conversation, people sitting and eating, uh, the electrical boxes, the famous Hogs Breath Saloon sign that's on the outside. So you want to kind of, there's Buddy, and now I've added Buddy to the to the mix there. So he's sitting. Hey, I mean, if you look over at the Camaro, it says Z28 on it. They notice the reds are not, it's just not a blank red. You can see the shadows, where the shadows are, would be a darker maroon. 
there's a different way of doing things like here and like I said the Coca-Cola you add the people in here and the people never have to really be deta detailed that much you can look and see their hairstyles again here's a fan brush where I'm, I'm painting the actual leaves a lot of painting is not specific details there are people that do that but my paintings are more they're detailed with the cars and more stuff but but I do in some details and the rest you just kind of the brain will like if you're looking at this the trees and the fan that fan bush there is really not detailed it's just a couple different colors of green but because of the detail of the car and everything around it it appears to be detailed your brain doesn't tell you differently like if you look at, at everything in here, if you look at the louvers on the Mustang or the different colors there, the people at the bar with the bottles in the back and the bartender, you know, you're telling a story. This is my old brush. This is the brush I use for concrete and ground and parking lots. And it is a beat up 99 cent brush that's probably 10 years old. And there's some like I said, it kind of got a little bit onto the Mustang, it doesn't, or the Camaro there, you can't really tell when you're looking at it, but that's like the bottom of the tree, and as you keep putting more, you can kind of tell the car's pulled in, because that's the direction of the brush, and then of course you have where the, the, the road is by the direction of the brush changing. So sorry about this being out of focus again. This, again, you can see all the, the pictures and stuff that I have up there. You have to really be able to transfer draw. That's a lot what I do. Sometimes I will draw out the cars or something on like something like this. I may draw this car out on another piece of paper, then transfer it onto the bigger painting. Uh, or sometimes I'll just draw right onto the... The thing so if you can see now it keeps getting more and more detailed the trees are getting more detailed the lighting the awnings everything gets a little bit more outlined a little bit more detail now we have a trash can over there near the bicycle we've got some chickens in there now uh, you notice the seat on the motorcycle and some other stuff is getting a little bit more and more detailed so buddy is now more and more detailed he has a nose eyes a little bit of outline the stripe on the Mustang is completely detailed, as is the the red tail light or the uh, tail lights on the Mustang. And you can see how big that is, because that's on a uh, it was on my truck. So here's the finished product, and they were really happy with it, and I was really happy with it. So this last one was a. I always wanted to do a painting of a Woody, and I thought a Woody with surfing would be cool, and then I ended up talking to a surfboard magazine, uh, well, surfing magazine, uh, here in Florida, and they would, wanted to buy the original, and what they would like was they wanted me to represent boards of different eras, so the surfboards that are in here, I actually had to research, so each of those surfboards is a surfboard, a famous surfboard, like, from a world-famous surfer of each era, the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s. I believe 90s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. I'm not really sure. But each one of those is world famous. Of course, I hit Buddy Dog in there. Um, I always wanted to do a Woody. I think a Woody uh, is like the ultimate car for surfers. So um, I put the Woody in there and, of course, a 57 Chevy because I love the classics. And so I hope you like this one. Let's go in and I'll show you how I did it and I'll show you the process. So here's the beginning of the woody. Uh, it's, I draw the beach first, I drew the sand, I knew kind of what I was going to want to do. So um, I have the ocean, the sand, the sky, that's always one of the, how I start out. I, I basically make the background. Um, as you can see here, it's in my office. Uh, I'm pretty, with the background, I think it was drying at this point, but sometimes I put stuff under it, sometimes I don't. So then I drew out, I didn't draw the fence, I just painted the fence out, but I had drawn the cars out. If you notice, the, the uh, cars have the same color sand, I haven't done it. So here I'm starting to do the outlines with the black. I added some of the green. Um, I left, put the white where the surfboards would be, obviously white where chrome's going to be or the lights are going to be. If you notice, uh, the 57 Chevy has nothing other than black and white, so I'm just starting now. I've already drawn it out. 
um, you'll see some changes. The I don't know where the trees are going to go yet. I know the fence is going to be there because I need something to put the surfboards against. And you notice I put the surfboards on the roof. Now, um, you'll notice the interior of the woody and the roof of the woody is starting to come together. The green is there. I'm starting to detail the fence a little bit to the left. I'm starting to add the lines to that at this point. Now I add the trees, uh, palm trees, which I have three different ways I paint them depending on uh, the drawing, but I try and of course you can see now I've added the browns for the woody, I've added the brown on the surfboard at the top, still haven't really done anything with the chrome. Uh, now I've added the picnic table, the papers are going to say surfing contest, I've added the whiteness, the white areas where the surfboard is going to be and some shadows. I've added the chain that goes across the fence at this point. And I've added the uh, holders for the surfboards on the roof of the woody, I've added the handles, I've added where the stickers are going to be in the back window of the woody and started to paint the colors of the uh, surfboard there as well as the orange color of the 57 Chevy. I've done the white roof of the 57. Now I'm starting to work on the chrome and I got my big feet there. And you can see now it says surfing contest today on the paper underneath or on top of the picnic table. And I've now done the interior of the cars. I've done the white on the windshield which is the glare from the sun I've done the outline of where Buddy's going to be over near the tree near the surfboards and now I've fully got the interior done of the woody I've done the gray where the and silver where uh, the chrome bumpers are Buddy seems bored because he he got really antsy sometimes when I would do paintings because it would take me you know, a couple days to do the paintings. And you could see the edge of the painting where I bring the, the uh, picture around the edge um, because I never really frame my painting so um, we just put it that way. Uh, you can see now Buddy's still in the white. One of the, I'm working on the surfboards over there. I'm putting now beginning to work on the trees. The cars are pretty much done at this point. You can see the blue, some of the blue sky and the moon uh, hubcap in the front of the woody. Um, you can see the blue reflection in some of the chrome. Now I've done the palm fronds and added some more detail to the sand. Added uh, Buddy is now just brown. It's just a brown uh, Buddy lot, but I've added, I finished the second surfboard there, the green one, uh, and then the car here, surfboards are done, fuzzy dice in the window, um, the waves I, I probably did a little bit too, but you can see the blue, blue sky, same way you can see all the details now in the uh, 57 Chevy, the details on the flyers that are sitting on the table, um, and uh, again now you can see the details on the surfboard where I put you know things that were written on there, stickers, whatever you want to call uh, the fins are on there. Buddy's still not there, but you can see the trees getting detailed. There's now plants around the fencing, the chain on the fences there. Um, now Buddy's done in this part here, so he's got his face and his paws, his belly's all done. And uh, it's just down to a couple more details here. So his nose needs to be painted in, his eyeballs. Uh, you can see on the boards now I've added a lot of different stickers and stuff and writing on them, personalized them, so as they were in the pictures that I saw. And we just keep playing with it, adding a little bit more detail here, a little bit more detail there. And you can just see each picture just has a little bit more. Now Buddy has a black nose. Now his eyes are painted in. And I said now the dice have their numbers on the dice. And there's detail on the racks. So details on the, uh, the fenders. Here's the details now. You see Buddy has his nose. He's got his paws. He's got his eyes. Um, 
and I just keep playing around. I'll do a little bit more detail on the 57 Chevy, the headlights, the bumpers, uh, the shadow of the boards on the roof, the wheels and tires, and of course the trees get uh, little dabs of lights, different whites, different lighter greens, uh, just reflecting the sun and the sky. So a lot of times the reflection, like if you look in the windows or on the trees, it's actually white, not uh, not any other color, um, because of the waxiness of palm fronds. And it's getting pretty close to done. And now it's hanging on a wall, and that's it on the front of my book. So, uh, and that book's available at Amazon. And this is Life of Painting, which also there's houses in there and some buildings and some other things that I did uh, that I go through. I think there's about seven or ten. So, coffee mugs empty. I hope you guys enjoyed the video this morning of how to uh create a painting and if you did please subscribe if you like my regular videos of cars please subscribe if you like walking junkyards please subscribe and um if you want the book that goes with this you can go on amazon and uh i, I think they're like 12 or 13 dollars something like that i'm not really sure um but anyway uh thanks for watching and have a great day april should they subscribe to this channel even if they don't like cars today for this one just for this one.